Excellent. Moving up in the world. <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? <sighs> guys, don't let them get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up! That's enough! Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <gasps> hey. Isn't that him? Yeah. It's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichibang. Ichibang Kasuga, of the Arakawa family. Loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima. And his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Looking forward to next time, Ichiban Kasuga. Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that.
So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes, and you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. All right, but if the sixth chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? Got that right, Sixth Chairman? Ichiban, easy. It's fine. I'll explain. <clears throat> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You've told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. Well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. 
Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws, as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman, told him what Masato had asked of me. And how, if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit.
He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment, and they found him liable as the man's superior. That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance, de facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow, and this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions, the Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless Prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Mitsu say the same thing to you? So that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa-san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima-san and Saijima-san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other crazy ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. Oh, 
Okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. You'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move, I'll go along with it. Aniki, you gotta realize, Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board, and so are my friends from Eugene Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready. Just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there. Hey. それでは出発いたします。
Hold up there. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo, let him through. He's by guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he... Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is. Back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah, that is real commitment. Well. If he causes any trouble, any at all. It'll be on you to clean up the mess, agreed? It'll be fine. All right, I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Yomi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in the Jean show? Now it's your turn. I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh?
Captain! Welcome home, sir! Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? Oh, no. As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? 